what we've discovered here is a revolutionary breakthrough in music and sound that's going to take us to the next level. I think it will be the kind of breakthrough that the steel guitar was for country music. Uh, a while back we were doing some sessions and we were told from the uh, recording company that it was going to be important to add some compression. And so we got to thinking about the concept of compression as it relates scientifically to the travel of sound through air. And typically when people talk about compression they talk about, you know, there's, there's loud parts to music and there's soft parts and when somebody's singing sometimes they'll go up too high, they go down too low and we want to clip those sound peaks off to even that out. And, and traditionally in, in music we've done that electronically. But you know, a lot of thought and research uh, went into our innovation that we're about to release and that was we know that sound actually travels through air and we know that sound is different when the air is dense or when the air is thinner. So when we think about the concept of compression as we uh, ran this through our different tests that we had to do, we found that the concept of pneumatic compression worked with sound. If we could run the sound through air compressed to a particular pounds per square inch prior to it going into the traditional amplifier and we could couple those together uh, in, in a way that worked and, and, and came out the other end with the sound that we were looking for that we would have this in innovation that we've been seeking. So what we found through lots of research and, and lots of playing music that it was very important, it was extremely important to compress the air in different amounts to come up with different sounds. And we knew that if we could do this, we could probably, this would probably be a money maker of monumental proportions. So when we started compressing the air and running the sound to it, we found that it worked and you could adjust the particular qualities to that particular piece of music by changing the pounds per square inch of compression prior to the sound going into the traditional amplifier, we knew we had an innovation that would rock the music world. Could we talk a little about how they had it wrong all along about the vacuum tubes and they've been using vacuum tubes for uh, a century now and of course they went through the solid state area and now, now they kind of reverted back to the vacuum tube so really they're taking steps backwards. A am I understanding this correctly? Well what they did, they had it exactly backwards. It was 100% backwards because inside these amplifiers in the old days they would use a vacuum tube. They would take all of the matter out of the inside of that tube. Well that was you know, then we went through a period of time where we used the transistor and everything was solid state and that produced a sound. Well, those of you who've been around in the business for a while know what that sounded like. They had it all backwards with the vacuum tube. It's compression. Compression is where the key to quality sound is. When you compress that air, that material, and then you run that sound through it, you can control it in a way that's remarkable and produces tones never before heard to man. And that's, that's just a phenomenal breakthrough. Mm. Well, as you can see, we've covered up the logo on this pretty much a standard amplifier that you buy at any music store. We found that this concept, this technological breakthrough, 
works with with any amplifier that you you want to use it with regardless of the quality um, regardless of, of, of what the brand might be we want to protect the uh, the proprietary property of, of this particular company that makes this amplifier it's this concept of pneumatic compression that that we have for sale. And I want to ask you to keep the camera back. My colleagues who are involved in this inter innovation have asked me not to show these gauges. The gauges are set right now to a particular artist. It's an artist of renown that, that you may have heard that has a tremendous sound. I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. I'm, I know better. We're not allowed to disclose who that artist is. Uh, but I ask that you please don't these these settings are for that particular artist and that's an important part that's an important part of the unique sound that's being produced that that people are flocking to that's causing albums that that we believe will go platinum now it's important for me, for you to understand that this is not going to be inexpensive all the hours of research and the time we've put into this, the money that's been invested, we've dug down deep in our wallets to make this sort of innovation. This is not going to come cheap. Uh, so we, we anticipate that professional artists and studios will be the ones that will be purchasing this and that we'll be taking orders originally from. But we also believe that any weekend jammer that, that does make the kind of investment into uh, pneumatic compression, that person's not going to be a weekend jammer very long. It's going to take their sound to a new level, to a professional level. They'll end up being an innovator in the country music industry. There's no doubt about it. One of the things that we think is going to be very, very popular that as we develop the uh, licensing contracts and as we're able to put together the legal documents that are necessary is we'll be able to offer artist packages. Artist packages will consist of the particular settings that make that artist who they are, that give them the sound that they have. Uh, so those who wish to emulate that sound will be able to acquire through a license those exact settings, those exact pounds per square inch of compression that's necessary to produce that sound. We think that that'll be a very, very popular feature as we sell this concept. We're very, very proud of this package and that we believe we're going to be able to deliver the most transparent type of compression on the market today. The tone will be regulated to perfection. Uh, the dynamics will, will be at a level that we've not seen before in the industry. And we believe that through the design of our specially engineered titanium coated hermetic regulator that's part of this particular system is what's going to deliver that to folks. With that, what I'd like to do is demonstrate it's important that we build up. Again, I ask that you not look at the gauges because we're going, I got these set for a particular artist. But we're going to deliver some tone quality. I've got to build this up so that we're at a pressure level for that particular artist. Uh.